Hello and welcome to the demo on Sale Point Identity IQ plugins. Sale Point has extended its open identity management platform Identity IQ with a new plugin framework. The first iteration of the plugin framework was released as an add-on to Identity IQ 7.0. Here, the plugin framework provides the infrastructure and tools to extend the open identity platform to meet a variety of use cases. It allows plugin framework where developers to create a packaged functionality that integrates with Identity IQ in an upgrade safe and isolated manner. For plugin development, we require a robust knowledge of Identity IQ and its object model. Along with these, we require a Java script and CSS and a basic SQL knowledge to store the data of the required plugin. Here, we could see the list of attributes mentioned and their description. Here, every plugin which is developed in a single identity IQ system should be with a unique name and should satisfy the version conditions where a lower development environments will not support the plugins developed in a higher version environments. Most plugins will have some additional UI component that will appear in Identity IQ. This requires images, CSS files, HTML templates and also sometimes JavaScripts will be used to provide the interactions and views required by the plugin. So plugins that utilize a full page element will look for a file called page.xt HTML file in the plugin build. Here you could see the list of folder and its structured fashion where db folder will give the db scripts for plugin data store where we could install the scripts and if we want to remove the existing plugin data then we could provide a uninstall scripts related to specific database version in the install and uninstall folders here import directory will contain all the xml files which requires for the objects of plugin to communicate with the sale point instance here src contains the source code is which in this case a compiled java classes in a executable jar file if a plugin requires a ui which means a interaction with the existing sale point identity iq then all the ui related files will reside in ui directory under this we could specify a simple directory structure for storage of CSS, HTML and other JavaScripts if involved. So, in this demo, we will be discussing on application connection test plugin where we could test the connection of all the available applications in a sale point identity IQ system. These are the required files for application connection test plugin where db scripts allow us to store the data of each run of the plugin in a data store here if you want to store any xml files then we could store it in import slash install directory and this is the main directory which involves jars where executable jar files can be placed in this.
here ui folder will give us the visible actions that our plugin supports manifest file which is mandatory for all the plugins which will help us to decide the plugin version and the maximum and minimum system versions that the plugin developed supports for here based on the attribute values we could specify the operations to be involved in our plugin we could specify the maximum version that our plugin supports in the action the plugin column where we can limit the operation of our plugin to a specific level and we could resolve inconsistency of the plugin in the lower environments now let us look into the demo of the application connection test plugin so this icon is related to application connection test plugin which will be continuously syncing with the background process called application connection where it allows testing of each and every application in our identity iq system in this case we have active directory account application which is configured and the test connection is successful for this application in the initial stage now using the get iq applications we will get a map of applications where each and every application name and id will be stored here test application method will test the application provided with name and id using a sale point context here it will do a test connection for each run and try to store the data of the result in a database the get current status method will be used to get the current status of the application from the database so for if each run of the application the database will be updated with the data with the result which contains the application test connection in order to import the plugin develop we will go to plugin tab and click on new and select the list of plug available plugins from the location as a zip file now once the plugin have imported we could see the plugins if any specific ui elements configured now we will test the application connection test plugin in the initial stage as we could see here the active directory application is running successful now let us try to do some modifications and result in test connection failure now in this case if
Active Directory servers are away and if there is any firewalls enabled and we have failed to do a test connection manually then our application connection test plugin will help us to test the background application sync connections and let us know it will let no as we could see here the application connection test plugin icon has been changed to red, con red color it means there is something an issue with the test connection of our existing applications when we click on the sync icon we could see here the active directory application is failing in the error tab we could see the reason for the failure in order to ignore this connection and proceed further we could ignore this message and do the connection test as regular or if we want to reconfigure the application then we could click on the settings icon and it will redirect to application which is failing here in this case it's active directory and it is clearly shown that local host this global catalog server is failing to connect to active directory now the test connection is successful once the background sync happens the icon of application connection test will turn green so in this case we are dealing with a single application this application connection test plugin will help you to determine if there are a list of applications existing in your sale point identity iq then if there is any connection failure for the respective application and we might not noticed that in a regular basis so this application connection test plugin will help us to determine the failure applications and make a list of the failure applications and let us know the exact error which is causing for the failure of the application connection test now as we could see here the application connection test icon has been changed to green and the sync process is happening as as in regular fashion since the active directory account is able to connect to the server successfully in this case so this is how we could test the n number of applications available in sale point identity iq test connection with a single click based on a te connection test parameter available in sale point api docs Thank you.